Hello, everybody, and welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ozer Bluetooth stencil printer. This stencil printer will make it easy for you to print your stencils from your phone, your computer, or your tablet. It even comes with an app that will help you make your stencils as well. This stencil printer was sent out to me by Element Tattoo Supply for a review, so thank you Element for supporting the channel, but as always, I will be giving my honest opinion, the good, the bad, and the ugly. At the end of the video, if you did want to pick one of these up and save some money, you can use my code TylerNicholas at checkout on the Element Tattoo Supply website. I'll leave the link for that and the discount code in the video description. I am coming from using this A4 thermal imager for about the last seven years or so, and after using something for that long, I really wasn't sure how I was going to like the change in my workflow. Coming in at $299, the Ozer stencil printer is a budget-friendly option for a printer that is packed full of features. Comparing that to the thermal imager that I have with a price tag of $1,049, Ozer already has me interested with the price. Let me tell you about a few highlighted features before I show you how this thing works. Not only is the Ozer compatible with Bluetooth printing, but it's also battery-powered. And not only is it battery powered, the battery lasts a really long time. When you open up the app, this is what you're greeted with. Up here, it will tell you if you're connected to your printer or not, and it automatically connects as soon as you turn on the printer. Uh, the first time, I think you have to connect it manually, but every other time after that, it just automatically turns on and connects. Next, you can either print images or you can scan an image. This is really cool because you can just take a picture within the app and say it's of a flash sheet and you just want to get the outline of it. You can take a picture within there and you'll be able to use the tools within the app to change it into a stencil. I'll show you that in a minute. Or you can click on this one, which is print images that have a couple different uh, options. So now you can either go to photo editing, collage, or image splitting. I honestly never use image splitting. That'll just take one big image and chop it up into smaller ones if you're doing a larger piece. I mostly just use the collage feature. Even if I'm doing larger scale stuff that I have to piece together, I'll show you how to use that in a minute. But first, I'm gonna show you photo editing. You're able to pick a piece of artwork from your camera roll, whether it be a fully colored image or a shaded image or just a straight outline. First, I'm gonna show you what it can do with the fully colored image, because this is really cool. So you click on the image and then you can go to create. You can either rotate it, crop it, you have filters and adjustments. If you go down here to filters, this is where you can make a stencil out of a fully colored or shaded image. So this is the original, you can go to number one, it'll change it, number two. And this all depends on how you like to tattoo. I don't really know what you would use these two for to tell you the truth, but if I'm doing this, I'm going to this one right here. So it takes the fully colored image and it's P04, oh wait, no, P03, I'm sorry and it'll give you a entire full outline of that image. Now, if you don't like that and it's not completely perfect, you can go over here to adjustments and you have the brightness and contrast. So you can adjust your brightness. I'm gonna bring it up slightly and then I'm also gonna bring my contrast up to make it darker. So it kind of took away those like background, uh, that background noise from some of the textured shading with the brightness, and then it made it darker with the higher contrast. So, I mean, that's a solid uh, line drawing for your stencil that you can just use, and you don't even have to worry about uh, having to reline anything. It could just do it all for you. Now, next, I wanna show you how it handles something a lot more detailed like this. This is just something I pulled off of Pinterest that has a lot of detail. Um, so we can go through the different stencil types. You're a crazy person if you wanna do that uh, for your stencil. Um, let's see, which one do I think will work best? I think number one here, it kind of really brings out the detail and it shows you, you know, where the, the most darkest parts are and stuff like that, which are, is really important. So let's see, let's bring up the brightness a little bit and then bring up the contrast. And I think that that's a pretty solid stencil for something uh, like that. You don't have to draw at all. I prefer to draw. I wouldn't really want to do this. I like to draw uh, and procreate and get familiar with my image. But if you're one of those people that just like to print out an image, this is super solid and uh, it'll do the job well. Now, the last thing I want to show you within the app is say you want to fill a specific size gap with this design. Say it's five inches by two inches. You can click on the actual design once you've imported it into the collage function. And up here is going to show you how big it is in millimeters and in inches so you can resize it and it's going to tell you how large the image is which is super useful 
Now I'm going to show you how this thing prints, and we're going to do a little test between Spirit and the Ozer brand stencil paper. A lot of people were telling me in the comments when I first unboxed this on TikTok uh, that the Spirit paper for them is like super crumbly, and the thermal paper was kind of just crumbling and getting purple everywhere, and it was ruining their stencils even on the skin. So uh, Element, they sent me out the Ozer brand uh, to test out, and I'm going to show you the difference between the Ozer and the Spirit and we're going to use this dragon image because I feel like this is a really challenging thing for the printer to print and if it can do it well then I think that is the clear winner. So in order to insert the stencil paper into here all you have to do is remove the onion layer first. Once you get rid of the onion paper you flip it over and you have to rip this back sheet off. Once the back sheet is ripped off you flip it over with the stencil paper up and you just insert it into the slot in the stencil machine. You gotta make sure you do this straight or it will kind of make it weird. You hear that the stencil paper was grabbed by the machine. Oh, we gotta do this fast, it's saying battery low. All right, now we're gonna make our filter. We're gonna go to, which one was our favorite with this? Number two. We'll go there, we press print, and then this right here is a preview of the sheet that will be printed. So if this is off or too big and some of it's hanging off of the sheet, it'll show you on the print preview. Everything is good, and you press print, and you'll hear this little puppy start to purr. And then it'll tell you that the printer is out of paper, clearly. Next, let's throw in a piece of the Ozer stencil paper before this thing dies. I will say, even when you're handling this, this feels like a better quality paper. The only thing that I will say that I don't like as much about it is it doesn't have a perforation where you can rip this part off. I mean, it's still easy, but that's one thing I do like about the Spirit better. All right, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Spirit versus Ozer. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but just by the preview that you're seeing on the front, you can kind of tell which one is better. So this is the Ozer stencil paper. You can see that we got deep dark color with the thermal paper, and all the detail is there, even within those little tiny scales by the eyes and everything like that. All the detail is there that we would need in order to do our stencil. And then, we can look over on this side, nothing's flaking, nothing's coming off. I can like rub this and nothing's coming off onto my fingers or anything like that. This is a quality stencil paper for sure. And then this one is the Spirit. And yeah, there is detail, it did work well. But at the same time, if I put a side by side with these eyes and all these little scales, it seems like the detail in the Spirit stencil paper, I guess you would say it's a little bit less defined. And then over here on this side, you can see that over here where there shouldn't be any stencil damage, I guess you would say, um, there's a bunch of flaking and stuff like that. And it's kind of just like coming off of the paper, which makes a mess. And then also on your client, I'll pop up a little video of what it does. It kind of just leaves stencil where there shouldn't be stencil, which can be a really big problem, especially with a big design that has a lot of detail like this that could be something that would be really undesirable. I've used spirit paper literally my entire tattooing career and it saddens me that I'm saying that a brand that I just met is better. So I don't know, I feel like I'm cheating, but at the same time, whatever. And I have noticed the difference when I started to use this paper uh, over the spirit paper. I wasn't sure that I was gonna really see a big difference, but I definitely do like the Ozer paper better. Overall, I think that the Ozer stencil printer is worth the money that you would end up spending on it. This is something I'm excited to have in my shop and it does make my job easier. And also one thing, it does save on paper since you don't need to print out your stencil on a printer and then put it through the stencil machine. It just goes right from your iPad to the stencil paper, which is super cool. One thing I will say about this review and every other review that I do, I spend a short amount of time with these products before I give these reviews. So I've only used this for about two months. So I can't guarantee that this is gonna work for years and years and years. You might get two years out of this machine or you might get 10, I don't know. I've used my other stencil machine for seven years and I can tell you that it's worked and it's functioned and it's never broke down on me before. I can't say the same about this, but after using it for as long as I have, I can't see it breaking. It is so far as I could see a quality product. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanna be honest with you guys about that. But either way, if you have questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave it down in the comments. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope that you have a good day. My voice cracked there, I'm going through puberty. All right, see ya.